if you're a beginner, start with a friction call. Um, box call is probably going to be the easiest to get a sound on. Um, here's a checkered short box that I make. It's purple heart and cedar. And obviously, as you can see, there's one moving part on this call. You're going to hold the box, and you're just going to slide the paddle. And I'm cutting and yelping right there. Just cut. And the yelp is the most basic turkey sound that you're going to hear. It's the one that most hunters use um, the majority of the time. But you will hear them cutting. You'll hear them gobble. Now when you're using a bicycle, don't pick the lid up. Leave the lid right on there the whole time. Drag it back and forth. You never have to pick it up because on the backstroke, it doesn't make a sound. So they're easy to use. Um, anybody, I don't care if you've never even tried a turkey call in your life, you know, if you come up and I can just give you a few pointers and there it is, you know, it's, it's a, right on. This is a pot style call. Here's a crystal. I've got, let me see here. This is a different surface. It's a slate surface. Um, that, and you can get these in crystal, glass, slate, aluminum, copper, ceramic, all different surfaces, but each one you're gonna call on the same way. You have a striker and this is your pot. What you do, you want to tip the striker about 15 degrees away, and just like you're writing on a piece of paper, rest your hand on the call, and you want to draw ovals. When you cut, it's just, just like breaking the pencil and snapping it off. You can key key with this. The cluck and the purr, you're just dragging it. So that's going to give you a little bit higher, higher pitch sound. You switch to a slate, it's a little bit mellower. They sound great in the woods. Kill a ton of turkeys with slate calls. And all of them work. Sometimes you got to use different calls. Sometimes they won't gobble at something. So you go back to your slate or go back to your crystal. You know, you never know what's going to work. But So when you go in the woods, you'll take multiple oh, yeah. friction calls yeah. with you? Yeah, I, I, I usually take, I'll take one or two bias calls and then you always have probably three or four of the friction calls and different strikers make different sounds too. If you try a, let's see here, say we try a diamond wood striker on this call, it's going to give you a little, a little bit nastier sound. So if you take, you know, three friction calls and two strikers, you got six different sounds you can make. And it's, uh, that's essential most of the time when you're turkey on to have, have some different sounds because you never know what he's gonna like, you know, and it's all about him. You're trying to call that turkey in and you gotta get something that he likes. Uh, mostly I use friction calls. I work them all the way to within, when they can see me and I'm, and I'm worried about moving, then I'll just finish the deal with the mouth call. But uh, I mean, I hunted the first probably six or seven years without using mouth calls at all. So it, it can be done. A lot of people think you can't, you can't move, but if you got them fooled and they're coming, uh, most of the time it's a sealed deal.